Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Jack Graham here, Realtor with Simply Vegas. Showing you today Inspirata, which is a master plan community in the city of Henderson, inside the Las Vegas Valley. Now, I'm a realtor here in Las Vegas and uh, I tour these these neighborhoods every day. So I know all the ins and outs of this, uh, of this part of town. And I'm gonna tell you from my experience what I think of the Inspirata neighborhood. I'm gonna be driving through it and show you all the streets, what the neighborhood looks like, what are the pros and cons. We're gonna go through the school districts and all that good stuff to understand is this the right place for you to live in? Or maybe you're just a curious viewer that wants to know a little bit more about the neighborhood out there. So without further ado, let's get into it. Right now we are, I am headed right now outside, away from me in Sprout. As you can see on that street right there, that one connects with the 15 freeway, which is, as you can see right now, we are in the south side of the Las Vegas Valley. So I'll stop, I'll stop a second on the side of the, of the road so I can show it to you guys. Okay, so this is the Las Vegas Valley. This is the 15 freeway that cuts through in the middle, right? Right now, I'm literally 30 seconds away from that freeway, just behind that mountain right there. We have the freeway to get to the strip, get to the airport and all that good stuff, okay? So this is where Inspirata is. This is within the city of Henderson. The city of Henderson is right here and it goes all throughout the southeast side part of the Las Vegas Valley. Inspirata, Inspirata is all the way over here to the left side of Henderson, okay? So keep that in consideration. We're gonna go through all there. You have a bunch of master plan communities down here. You have Seven Hills, you have McDonough Ranch, you have Anthem down here. Uh, we have Black Mountain, Green Valley Ranch, a bunch of neighborhoods out here in Henderson. The one we're going through today is called Inspirata and it is right here okay to give you a better map here is the map of Inspirata as you can see if you want to stop the video uh, you know you can pause it and check out all the amenities and everything that it has but I'm gonna be driving back I'm on this street right here I'm gonna be entering right here and I'm gonna show you first of all all the new construction homes so um, everywhere where all the new homes are going and then we're gonna go into the built-out area of Inspirata to show you what the finished product is gonna look like. So you're gonna see right here all the parks, all the school districts, the Pinecrest Academy, all the future schools that it has. So what kind of, uh, you know, projected look is this uh, neighborhood is gonna is gonna have? What kind of look is it gonna have in the future? We're gonna go through the Robert and Sandy Ellis Elementary School and then all the other parts throughout this area and also I'm gonna to talk to you about what's coming up next over here they have a big casino uh, being built right here and I'm gonna to talk to you about how amazing of a thing that is not only for real estate prices in this area but for the whole neighborhood to grow as a whole and um, yeah I'm super excited to go through with you guys um, we are gonna get started right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a U-turn. So that is where the freeway is, right? Right behind those mountains. So it does have a relatively easy access to the freeway. And let me zoom in. So you could be on the freeway within five minutes here, which is a really good thing when it comes to having access to everything in the city. I would say this, we are about 20 minutes from the strip as you can see down there in the background you see the strip and also uh, from the airport as well and as you can see we have a lot of desert land where eventually in the future they're gonna build out here all surrounding this area but that is Inspirata so where you see all the new homes uh, going up that's where it is and there's a uh, one main uh, builder out here that really uh, you know dominates this neighborhood and that is KB homes they they own most of the land like 80% of the land and they are gonna be the ones that most likely you'll be buying a home with if you come out here although we do have some other options like TriPoint Toll Brothers and so on over here to the right we have uh, the KB homes they 
pretty much own a lot of land and they start building in different sections of, the, uh, of town. But this is gonna be the future part of Esperada, one of the last parts of Esperada. So, as, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you this. Let me show you on the map. As a matter of fact, we are somewhere around that bottom left side of the map right there, okay? That's where they're building right now. So, I'm gonna drive through the new part right here and show you what's coming up next. And then we're gonna go to the older part of town, okay? And there's also a lot of shopping going up, a lot of businesses coming in here. As you can see, this is the newer part. We have any kind of size of home, anywhere between 1,200 square feet of a house, going up, you know, single story, two story, going up to probably, you know, up to 3,000, 600 square feet of a house so we have so many options out here as far as living goes it's just a matter of finding the right neighborhood for you right so lots of construction going on these are all brand new homes you can see right here we have uh, townhomes in the middle and then over onto the side we have some uh, the landings collection and the reserves collection which is single family homes with a backyard um, and this is where they're building the houses they're design there's their main uh, office is actually nearby. We're gonna go there in a second. But I wanna show you what the neighborhood will look like eventually. And these are homes that just, they just got finished right now. They're selling them. As you can see, all the trees are still small. There's not much green yet, but eventually things will grow here and it will look amazing. Okay, so we're gonna make our way out of this uh, specific uh, part of the neighborhood. And we're gonna go back onto the main road. But what I wanted to do out here is show you a little bit because they have a brand new school going in right behind us here. So behind this new construction over here to the right, there's a brand new school. And that is, to be specific, that is right here where you see Future Elementary School, okay? And um, one of the things about the school districts is that it they actually have some really good, well-rated schools because uh, that's one of the things about uh, Inspirata. You know, they base this whole community off of kind of like a family feel. You know, a family feel with uh, kids' activities and all that stuff. So, <clears throat> this is Henderson right here, right? This is home prices based on the zip codes. To be uh, Inspirata is right down here. Okay. You can see home prices are pretty expensive right here, right? The the only more expensive part of town is probably Lake Las Vegas right there, which as you can see, it's a little bit darker red. This is the least expensive part of Henderson, the city, which I'm gonna show you right now what the crime rate is. And this is a great website. I use it all the time for my clients to, uh, to figure out if, you know, which neighborhood is best for them. But I'll be opening up the, the crime data and share it with you in a second to see a little bit what, what this neighborhood looks like and give you a little bit more data. So, as you can see, this is a relatively expensive part of town uh, compared to other neighborhoods. And um, there's a reason behind it. That's because a lot of people are moving out here to Las Vegas and uh, you know they have money in the bank. Uh, they, they're selling a house in California or in some big city where their house price is a lot higher than here. And they come out here, they buy money with cash, they buy houses with cash, um, or maybe put a big down payment and you know they're able to afford a house. And the reason why they would wanna come here in this neighborhood specifically is because of the way uh, the neighborhood is, is made. We have a master plan community, so it is, this neighborhood has been designed around families to accommodate uh, people that have a family, they need, a, you know, activities for kids, sports, uh, you know, any kind of basketball courts or whatever, tennis courts, parks, everything you need for a family is out here in Inspirata. And we're only 20, 25 minutes away from the Strip, so it's not really like it's a far neighborhood out there. This is part of Henderson, um, really, really good location. Now, the reason why 
people want here want want this part of town even though it's a little bit more expensive it's because of the school districts when usually you have a family friendly neighborhood when all that stuff you have really good ratings when it comes to the school districts and i entice you guys to go and uh, research the ratings and all that stuff as a realtor i'm not supposed to disclose that stuff to my clients but this is what uh, this is the reality of the situation. I was considering myself of living here because this was one of the neighborhoods that really had some great school districts for, uh, you know, for families. And as you can see, we're getting more towards the more built out area. Still right here on the side, we have some areas that are not built out, but that's normal because you're right at, uh, you know, right in the middle of the desert. And then we're building these beautiful neighborhoods out here. Uh, as you can see, you know, I mean, it's you have a bunch of trash cans because it's trash day and it's windy. But, uh, you know, the trees start growing, the neighborhood starts looking, you know, nice. And uh, back here is where I was getting to. It's more on the south side of the Inspirata neighborhood. You have smaller homes here in the middle, and then we have a school going on right here. And this school, if it keeps going with the same ratings that they had um, with all the other neighborhood, well, with all the other adjacent neighborhoods that they have out here, we're looking at nines or ten to eight to ten out of ten in ratings for these schools. As you can see right there to the left, also, you see those black posts going up. That is a future park that is actually being built at right now as we speak, and we're going to drive by it to see what. Uh, what it looks like but imagine living out here having you know kids pretty much outside uh, you know playing with their friends you never have to take a car to go to a park because you can just get out of your house these are gonna be all future homes right here in this on the street okay um, you know never have to take a car out just get out of your house walk out and go to the park that is right here that's gonna be a big park okay with um, you know baseball fields and all that good stuff so really really nice and this is where we're at right now you see this future elementary school and this is this part right there future park and future track a tra trailhead Okay, there's gonna be a walkway and all that stuff right in between here because this is a drainage. Um, you know, this, that's what this is zoned for, drainage. That's the green part. As you can see, KB Home is the orange, right? They own pretty much all of Inspirata. Uh, we do have some tripoint and these are already built out. There's very, very few homes left over here. And then um, this is the part of Inspirata that has already been built. And this also was mostly um, KB. But we're gonna get there um, later on in the video. I'm gonna go show you the grocery store, which is right there, as you can see. Um, you know, and some other, you know, commercial places where the casino is gonna be built and how that's gonna be really, you know, growing this neighborhood. All right, we're gonna get back onto the main road and go up to show you the KB homes and also the other builders that are out there. And as we make our way back uh, out to where the other school districts are and all of that. Now, I showed you a little bit the new part, right? But this really doesn't give a sense of what this neighborhood is going to look like when it's finished. Because at the end of the day, this is just a bunch of dirt right now and homes being built, so a bunch of wood going up. It really doesn't give you a good feel, but that's what you're gonna see towards the second part of the, of the, of the video, where you can get an idea of what this neighborhood will look like in the future. So don't judge it right now yet. Um, as far as price ranges for these homes, we're looking at the, the least expensive home here is going to be about $350,000. And what $350,000 will give you here is probably a townhome. So you will, you will be getting, you know, 20, uh, probably about, let's say 1,400 square feet, two bedroom, three bedroom home townhouse with no backyard that's what 350,000 will give you then if you go a little bit more expensive you can get a garden home is what they call it with a side yard not a backyard 
those are gonna be in the upper 300s to low 400s. Now, if you start getting into a single family home with, it, with its own backyard in the back, then you're gonna have, you're gonna be at uh, somewhere from starting at around 430,000, going up all the way to, you know, if you get a 3,000 square feet home, uh, going up to, you know, $600,000 out the door. So just for, you know, comparison, you know, here's the roundabout. We're gonna get into the more built out area right now. As you can see, we start seeing some green here, which is a good idea of what the streets will look like, although they will look a lot more, um, how do you say, lived in, because the, all the green, all the trees are gonna be growing up in the future, so that'll be big. Um, as we're headed up, we're gonna make a left right now here to get to KB Homes. I'm gonna show you the biggest builder and all their floor plans, just like I mentioned earlier, right now with all the, the price range and all of that. And, uh, and also where the casino is gonna go. There's Toll Brothers right across, that's Amiata. These are luxury townhomes. Now those are gonna be more expensive. You're looking at around $700,000 out the door for a 2,300 square feet townhome with no backyard. However, they do have some beautiful rooftop decks, give you beautiful views of mountains and strip and all of that. But here is one of their completed neighborhoods. And this is where the model homes are actually. So you see, those are the townhomes I was telling you about, starting at 350, maybe getting into, you know, 350 to 400,000. HOAs right there are gonna be 160. You go over here, you get to the gardens collection. That's with the side yards, as I mentioned. Uh, that's gonna be somewhere around, you know, 400 to 450. And then that's when you get into the more expensive homes right here, 450 to 600,000, depending on the square footage of the house. Uh, these are actually the model homes that you can see. And these are the reserves collections. They have some single story options right here and some big two stories in the back, 3,000 square feet. Uh, here's a, an example of a park in Inspirata. And this one was, uh, this is all part of your HOAs. The master plan community itself has an HOA of about $65 a month. There are usually SIDS and LIDs over here. They range anywhere between four to $5,000 per house, depending on the home. Some of them have $2,000 if you get a smaller lot, you know. So it depends on the lot square footage. But here, here's a park, right now it's just 3.30 in the afternoon, kids are still in school. There's not much going on. But usually after school, these places start, you know, getting busier and you'll have more people come out. But, you know, if I were to describe this neighborhood, what it would feel like, it's more of a community feel. You know each other, parents know each other, uh, the kids know each other, they call and they, they go out in the street to play and do all that stuff. You, you don't get that usually here in Las Vegas, which is one of the things that attracts people a lot about this neighborhood. And you would have to keep that in consideration as well when you're, when you're purchasing a home because it does make a difference for a lot of parents, you know, or people that are looking to build a family or something. It would be a nice place to be in. As you can see right here, we have, um, right now, we just went through, uh, to be specific, we are right here. That's a Tessa Park, the one that we just saw. This is all KB Homes. They're also building a little bit more north right here. And then they have Toll Brothers are across the street. That's what I told you about, those communities. And then they have some commercial places right here. I'm gonna go and show that to you later. But so far, what we've done is, we've gone, we, ca we came in from here, we went in this way first, came out, came down here, showed you that park, that future park coming up, okay? Came back out, and then I showed you up here, the KB Homes. Right now, we're gonna go over onto this side, see some Tripoint and Toll Brothers houses, and then we're gonna head over on this side to show you the older part of Inspirata. But before we get onto this side, I'm gonna show you what's going on over here, which is a big casino going up. That's gonna bring in a lot of money, okay? 
So, going to the left, we have another place where they're building KB Homes up here to the left. And that's also where there's gonna be another connection to get out of here. Because right now, and I mentioned this before in other videos, when you go to Inspirata, you'll get in from here and you'll get out from the north side. There's only one way in and one way out. Uh, maybe, I guess, you could get out from here to, to get into Henderson. But usually, if you need to go onto the strip or somewhere to connect with other places, you're going to have to take either this road or the road right here to the west side. Uh, they are building another road that goes through the middle right here, which is going to be great to allow a better infrastructure. On top of that, this is where the casino is going to go, which is right across the street from us. Now, that's planned to... We plan on starting this probably in about a year or two from now. They literally just approved uh, the permits to do it. Now, what does this do for the neighborhood? This is huge for the neighborhood. I'll tell you why. When you get a casino in, you that these casinos, they do a lot of research on which neighborhoods are best, where the money is going, where there's going to be a lot of development and new construction homes. That way, they can capitalize on all the people that live there and bring that money into their business. So they want to anticipate what's gonna happen over here to, to try to get, the, the to pretty much win over this crowd, you know, and, and get their business is what it comes down to. So they're in the business obviously of making money. They know where, it's not like they just open a casino anywhere in the middle of nowhere and hope for people to come. They know it's gonna be successful and that's why they do it. So that's something that uh, you have to keep in consideration also when you're buying a home because here's the thing, if the casinos think there's gonna be a lot of development coming in and you know all of this, it means they're doing it because it's gonna be profitable for them but also it's gonna be profitable for the homeowners because it means prices are likely gonna go up due to the fact that, you know, the, the, the amount of construction is coming in, the neighborhood being developed more. And if a casino is investing, you know, that means, you know, in the future they see this, you know, they see this neighborhood is gonna have a bright future. Obviously no guarantees on that, but that's what it is. Toll Brothers right here to the right, as you can see these luxury townhomes. 700,000 really nice homes uh, been into their models in summer and uh, if you guys are interested in that obviously we can get you into those as well which by the way brings me to my pitch of the day remember I'm a realtor out here in Las Vegas I do this for a living I help people from out of town understand but also people from Las Vegas uh, you know uh, the city to understand what's out there where people can buy a good investment, a good uh, property to live in, and uh, that, that's what I do. You know, I'm, and I'm, I found, find myself, um, you know, very lucky to have all the clients that understand the value that I bring to them, uh, to to get them into the right neighborhood and make them understand which place is best for them. But that's why I do these videos to help people understand if this is the right place for them specifically. As you can see right here, uh, we have uh, some. You know some small shops we have uh liquor store uh there's other you know other places right here war cat grass uh martial arts and all that stuff so these are small shops in the middle of the main road and then over here to the right we have even more uh commercial parts going in there's a library there's a bar and grill so restaurants in here Really nice modern style for these uh, for this place right here. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I'm going into the older part of town, right? And I'll show you what I mean here. Older by older, I mean five years old. Okay. There was nothing here 15 years ago. Okay. Um. So this, as you can see, all the trees are are all grown up. You know, and, and this is more of the built out area of Inspirata. We are currently on uh, Via Bicentennial, it's called this road, okay? And then we're about to intersect Via Firenze, which goes north to south right here. I'm gonna show you where it is on the map. You see, this is Bicentennial, and then I'm turning right onto Via Firenze to show you the older part of town, the Pinecrest School and all that stuff.
gorgeous landscaping as you can see plenty of green into this neighborhood this is what Inspirata will look like in the other parts that, that we've been touring right now <clears throat> Sestina this is tri point or formal party homes Oh, I was gonna show you the crime rate. I'll get that right now pulled up. I'm having a hard time connecting. I mean, having a good internet connection here, so I apologize for that. Here we go. So, soccer fields to the left. And what I like about this is, so this is specifically Aventura Park you see right there, Aventura Park, okay? And um, what I like about this is this is all homes, okay? All the, the that pink part right here, tan part, that's all homes. All the people that live here are gonna have, you know, their family, whatever, they go to the park, they meet each other. You got that sense of community, you know? That's difficult to find when you don't have a master plan community. That's usually the case here in uh, in Las Vegas. We're gonna go over to Pinecrest Academy. This one has some of the best ratings. It is a charter school, so you get in with a lottery, but it's still a great a great place to have. And then we're gonna, so we're gonna head out here, going to Pinecrest, then we'll probably make a U-turn and go back up and get to the grocery store. I wanna show you that grocery store. I might get out and show you inside what kind of people live in this neighborhood. That would be ideal, right? Um, let's see something. I want to show you the crime rate first, if it if it opened. Mm -hmm. Got my internet it's still loading. Apologize. All right, let's head out. Let's see what else I need to show you on this side. As you can see to in the middle here, that's that big park. You have a bunch of soccer fields. Look at that. I have said it before in other videos. Uh, if you're a soccer mom, this is where you want to be because, you know, they have schools, they have, uh, you know, soccer teams for kids and all that good stuff. So this is where all the soccer mom comes. Be a soccer mom with us here at Inspirata. <laughs> Basketball courts. And you have baseball courts back there. As you can see the net on the outskirts. Yeah, really nice. This is Aventura Park. Sorry. If this video is helpful guys let me know down in the comments love to hear your opinion um, let me know what you think if this is helping you buy a home out here in Inspirata because this is a really nice neighborhood here's KB home their single stories collection all single stories here it's a reserves collection We go Via Contessa is this one, make a left, and we'll get to the Pinecrest Charter School, which has some really great uh, ratings. People must think I'm crazy, I stop all the time. All right. I promise you crime rates here and some extra data. So here we go. Henderson crime rates. Here's the map. As you can see, this is where downtown Henderson is. The darker it is, the more crime has happened. And this is data, okay? This is not me trying to sway anybody into any, any location. As you can see here, when I zoom in, that's the downtown part of Henderson. You see this little white 
uh, area right here in the middle, that's a brand new community called Cadence. It's beautiful out there. Uh, but you know, you see how it's surrounded here by quite some crime around it. This is not within the neighborhood, but you know, surrounding it. But then we are on the other side of town. We're all the way down here. Okay, that is quite some some space from all the the worst part of town. So this is a really nice neighborhood. So you see how bright it is. That shows you there's very few issues when it comes to crime. Okay, and 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 this is probably mixing with parts of this data is probably mixing with parts of uh, you know the neighborhood out here surrounding it that does not have a what should we call it that does not have a master plan community so it's brought it's very very light when it comes to uh to crime rates according to this website obviously now we go down we go down and this is what i do with my clients also i also show them all the other neighborhoods here and show them what the crime rates are for all of these master plan communities here in henderson but if you go down here, the total crime index, you can see that information, you can stop it. Safer than 23% of US neighborhoods. Uh, th that's uh, This is overall though, this is overall in Henderson. So that includes also the uh, the other parts of Henderson, okay. Um, number of crimes and all that stuff. You know, it's Henderson is a big city, right? And you can get all this kind of information here. Let's see Henderson, what it has as far as um, I don't. I don't think this. You see the population, property crimes. The population is three hundred and twenty-two thousand people in Henderson in, ger in general. Let me see if I can get you more data on the specific neighborhood here in Inspirata. Real estate prices. The median sales real estate price here in this neighborhood in Inspirata is five ninety-two. Not sure how accurate that is and then we have it has a higher income than 77.2 percent of neighborhoods in america that's really good well, it's not giving me any more uh data when it comes to that but you can <coughs> you can see a lot of people must be asking themselves, well, is this a safe area, Jack, to live in? And, uh, you know, obviously I can't, I, I can't tell you myself that, you know, it's a, it's a safe part of town, but I can show you the data because as a realtor, they, they restrict us on what we can say and what we can't say because then we would be redlining and all that stuff. So I show you the data myself. Here's that Pinecrest Academy to the left. And then uh, what we're gonna do is, so this street actually connects you to Anthem. Anthem is also a master plan community just adjacent to Inspirata. It's pretty, Inspirata is pretty much a continuation of, of, of Anthem, okay? So let's go back where we came from. We're gonna go to uh, the main grocery store where I guess you would go and do your groceries every day. So I can show you what that what that part looks like. And uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, so far, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. What do you think of this neighborhood? Is this something? Is this a neighborhood that you would live in yourself? Also, if you do live here. Or if you have any experience with uh, with this neighborhood and you have your own opinions of it, please let us know down in the comments. A lot of people, when they watch this video, they go down there and they, they tend to read what people say about what I'm saying to see if it's the truth, right? So leave your comments down there. Let me know if I'm right or wrong about this neighborhood. And if I miss, some, if I miss something about this neighborhood, Please enlighten us with your knowledge because it, it is really helpful to all those people that are looking to buy a home out here. It will give them that information that they need. Okay. 
Right now I'm driving on the east side of the Aventura Park, which is situated here in the middle, the one that we saw just earlier. As you can see, all these homes right here, right across the street from the park, so many options here available. I'll tell you one thing, if you're an investor and you're looking for a great neighborhood, one of the top neighborhoods to buy in, this is probably the best place to go. If you're looking for appreciation in the future, this is one of the best to buy in. Obviously, there are a lot of more neighborhoods available as well, um, but this is one of the one of the best for sure. All right. Especially with that casino going up. What happens when the casino goes up? All the other businesses follow. If you have a casino there, they know, okay, there's a casino there. Now you start getting restaurants coming in there nearby. Then you start getting offices, office buildings going up. And because you have more infrastructure and commercial real estate, now more builders come in and they build more. They buy more land surrounding the area, which brings more new construction, which brings higher prices to the homes here in Esperanto giving you that sweet appreciation on your home. Okay. So we're back on to Bicentennial here. We're gonna make a right to go east, a little bit more east. So I can show you that plaza where everybody goes shopping. You know? Oh, and here's the thing. You don't have to go to this plaza over here. Just north, about five to ten minutes north if you're a Costco fan there's a Costco up there and that would be right off of St. Rose I'll show it to you in a second on the map when you stop okay. but if you guys want a tip you're looking to buy a home and you don't know which neighborhood to choose and all that stuff and every time you look at a home just go to the closest grocery store and see who lives in the neighborhood that's the best tip I can give you. And I always do that to my clients, make sure they're buying in the neighborhood that is right for them. Here we go. This is that plaza. There is a animal hospital here. There's a storage facility. There's all Albertsons right there in Wells Fargo. There is a bar slash gaming place for those of you who like to gamble. You know, this is Vegas. We have slot machines in the, in the gas station. So that's the Albertsons right there. And right now we're looking at it from the side, but we'll see it from the front okay, in a second. There's a Bank of America just down there. Pet Outlet, Roberto's Taco Shop, and then we have, what else? Subway, CVS Pharmacy right there. You need a CVS around you, you never know. You need, a, you need something quick at night to go in. Get something really quick. Or, you need a pharmacy nearby. Albertsons. A bunch of uh, stores right here. There's Pizza Hut. There's a cafe for breakfast. And, uh, and we have... Uh, Jackpots cocktail food. Sorry. She wanted to be in the video. She said hi guys. Hit the like button for the lady. Okay. Alright, so As you can see, even more restaurants here, cleaners, 
This is a very well developed Hawaiian barbecue at the nails. There's a PT's going gamble there again. Barber shop, farmers markets, whatever it is. Chase, eye studio, dental place. You know, you get the you get the feel here, right? There's even more over here to the right. But it gives you a good idea of the kind of infrastructure you have around because if you're trying to make a decision on where to live, you need to know, okay, am I gonna be driving 20 minutes out to go to the grocery store? You know, the answer is no, you don't have to. You have everything right here. Now, Costco, as I mentioned, is actually located, I'll show you on the map. It's actually located right you see where that M Resort is? That's St. Rose Parkway, the diagonal road. Okay. And then Costco is somewhere over, oh, there it is. Costco Wholesale. Now to get to Costco from here, from Inspirata, and this is from the old part, it is 3.3 miles away. Let's see how far, how long it will take me right now. It would be, 11 minutes, it's not bad, you know? For your monthly Costco trip that you have to go through, that's pretty good. 11 minutes, it's in the trip. Well, we're gonna go over to the north part of the built-out area of Inspirata. I'm gonna show you that side as well. But yeah, so most of the people that live here are probably gonna be white-collar workers white collar uh, versus blue collar right blue collar yes that too but there's a lot of white collar probably like 70 percent of people are going to be white collar which means you have a manager working here or you know someone like an office like a government job or something like that a blue collar worker will be the post office uh people you know like the the, the workers at the post office or the grocery store uh you know a cashier's person you know whatever it is that has a lower income job you know uh, now that doesn't really matter much it's just a matter is of who I, I just want to give you the data of what's what's out here you know here in this Parada. every job is is great you know to the left we have Potenza Park it's actually Potenza you know, one thing I haven't realized, and let me know down in the comments, why do they have so many Italian names in this neighborhood? I mean, Inspirada, Inspirada uh, is, it means inspired, right? In Italian. But you have all these names, uh, Via Firenze, uh, via, via Toscana, via everything. Every street you have, or Maggio, which means May in Italian. There's a community pool right there. I gotta show you this. There's one of the community pools. I'm gonna try not to get people in it. Let me get out real quick. Oh, by the way, you can drive golf carts in this neighborhood, which is one of the few that has that option. Here's one of the community pools. There's a lap pool. And then there's another one over there on that side. I'm not sure what the difference is. This one is way bigger, I guess. That one. that one I think the, the height is a little bit lower over there compared to this one. Yeah, look how gorgeous this is. Really nice. There's trails throughout these middle parks right here. That's all part of your master plan community fees as well. But this is uh all of this you're literally paying it. Uh, you know, through the HOAs that you're paying, which are $65 a month for the master plan community. If you get a KB home right here, you also have a second HOA. I think it's like, yeah, it's it's $65 a month if you get a single family home. If you get a townhome, it's gonna be more expensive because obviously townhomes require more maintenance on it. They, you know, they have to paint your house every certain amount of years or things like that. You know, like uh, if the roof leaks, uh, you know, it's shared with the neighborhood, so uh, with the neighbor, so they 
it's going to be covered by the HOA. So that's why H, uh, HOAs are usually higher on townhomes. Okay, so we just passed Potenza Park. But let me know why all the names are Italian. Is it based on Italian city or something like that? I don't know. You see, Via Firenze, Car Cartanda. I don't know why. And um, right now we're headed down to towards uh, Capriola Park. Okay, which is right here up Bel Beltrada. And Beltrada, this actually is going to be the street, I believe, that is going to continue all the way down going to the 15. So, to give you a better understanding of that, here's the Capriola Park. 